This egregious miscarriage of justice has caused an indelible stain that is forever itched in the annals of our Belizean history. Like her children, I do not believe that Nora was guilty. I do not believe that she lit the match. Like Pinita Espejo, I believe that her statement was changed. She never locked that latrine, and again, she never ever lit that match. We all would have preferred an exoneration for her because we all believe that what transpired was unfair. She was not given a fair chance. She was not listened to. But we also know that we have to work within the law. And the law at this time only allows for a pardon. Ms. Parham's story is not concluded. There's not a full stop now. But truly that she becomes more than the victim that she was, but truly the catalyst that she can be and that she can break, as others have called it, this cycle that we're playing out. Because, and I think it was even the Prime Minister himself that called out that 99% or some very high number of our homes are dealing with some form of violence. That's incredulous. This government should be commended for bringing the motion that we can fully support. And while we do, Madam President, both sides give condolences and, and we feel the pain of the family of Ms. Param. I think the family also deserves, Madam President, from both sides of the house, official apologies. And, and so for taking so long or for never bringing this matter to the National Assembly in our case, Madam President, on behalf of the UDP, I would like to offer a heartfelt apology to the Param family and to reiterate to them that we supported her clemency then, we support it now, and we are fully in support of this motion. And I think that even though the PUP has to be credited, has to be credited for bringing this motion, I think it would be useful as well, given their history in this matter, for them to offer their own apology to the Param family. And this motion has brought a sense of maturity, a sense of unity, and a sense of nationalism, where across the political divide and joining with the social sector, I think there is a renewed commitment to dealing with this issue. It's not easy. It's not going to be done in a day, overnight, but we have to move, and I believe we are moving in the right direction.